Hi students, this tutorial is about 4x5 film holders and how to load them. The holder can hold up to two sheets of 4x5 sheet film, one on each side. The holder has three parts, the body and the slides. The slides are removable like this. Each slide has a color coding at the top. The slide is black on one side and white or silver on the reverse side. The silver or white uh, side is show to show that the film is loaded and it has bumps to indicate in the dark room which side is this side is up when loading film. So these bumps are located right here next to my index finger. The black slide is to indicate that the film has been shot. Now let's look at loading a sheet of 4x5 sheet film. This is done in complete darkness. No light can touch the film when loading. Use either a darkroom or a changing bag to load film in. Practice in the light. To load a piece of film, remove one sheet from the packaging. Find the notches at the top of the sheet film. I already have one loaded, so I'm going to go ahead and remove it real quickly. This is a used piece of film. You can notice, see here at the top that there are notches at the top of the film. This one has uh, about four notches. This is done to um, show us what kind of film type this film is. To load a piece of film, remove one sheet from the packaging, find the notches at the top of the sheet of film. These notches indicate the film type, like I just said. An example is now shown on your screen. Make sure that the notches on the top right are on the top right to load the film. Pull the slide back on the holder in the dark room. Make sure that the bottom at the bottom that the gate is pulled down. To load the film, invert the holder like so making sure that the gate stays open. Slide the film into place using the edges of the, uh, holding it with the edges of the film. Slide the film into place, making sure that the film comes under these two, uh, these two side notches. Close the gate. Make sure that the silver side using the bumps is up and re-slide in the slide like so. Making sure that this gate is closed at the bottom. You don't want fingerprints on your film as it can damage the coating of the film. Once this is loaded, Use your fingers to make sure that everything is in place. Most film holders have a little metal arm at the top. These can be positioned over the slide like so to make sure that the film is in the slide is in place and to prevent the slide from being pulled out accidentally. It is also an indicator that film is loaded on that side in the dark room. Make sure that you close your box of film before you leave the dark room. Once you've got both sides um, loaded. Now let's look at load, unloading the film. In the dark room, refer, reverse the procedure. Make sure that you have a black bag or box in the dark room to put the used film in. Pull back the slide 
lift the gate, get a fingernail gently underneath the film and gently pull the film out, making sure only to touch the edges of the film. Once it's out, place the film in, the opaque, in an opaque bag so that it is light tight. Close the gate and put the slide back into place. Make sure that all film is put away. Now you are ready to process the film. One last thing about film holders. Make sure they are dust free here in the interior. If there is dust, film can get scratched and damaged. When you are done with, or when you um, put this in your, uh, in your camera case, put it in a Ziploc bag to protect them from any dust. The white areas here on the holders are located here so that you can use a pencil or china marker to indicate the loading date and film type. Now practice loading and good luck.